Hey and welcome to this small video about how I use the filter to pass clean. Now a lot of people ask me about filters. Which filter should I buy? Which filter should I use? Well there are so many filters out there. It's like buying shoes. You have to see if they fit. You have to walk a little bit with them and if you like them, you buy them. That's why a lot of filters have like a 30 day trial area. If you don't like the filter, well you will know within a few days. So you don't even need the 30 days. Now I ended up with Topaz for a very simple reason. When I teach workshops I have to advise my students about which filter to buy and of course also which hardware to buy. And most budgets are limited. Now when we look at skin, skin is something that's very important in fashion photography. Some people like the Barbie skin, which I don't. I always want a little bit of detail in the skin. And some people like to do no skin retouching at all. But I think no skin retouching at all, well, you don't do that with fashion photography. You always want to do it a little bit. Just take the edge off. So I ended up uh, eventually with, I think it was Imagenomic Portraiture, uh, Nick, and one day I just tried Topaz Clean. I was looking at the price and I was expecting something that wouldn't do it as good as Imagenomic Portraiture or even Nick Color Effects, the Dynamic Skin Softener, of course, from Nick. I ended up being totally surprised by the quality that I got from this plugin. And I want to show you that in this video. Now, the first thing with skin is always first do a little bit of retouching without any filtering. The reason for this is very simple. If you do the filter, and especially with Topaz, you also add a little bit of texture. If you have to do retouching after that, it will show up in the final image. So first prepare the skin. Now I will use a healing brush, and I will never use a round healing brush. What I will actually do is I will make the healing brush a little bit like this. So this is the round one, and I will just press it in. Now it's a little bit easier to retouch, and to be honest, the end result, you will see a little less obvious retouching. So there we go, take away just a little bit of the problem areas in the skin. And they're not really problem areas with sauna, just stuff that I don't like. Okay, so now you see me retouching some stuff and it takes time. What you can also do, is so let's put everything back again, is use content to wear fill. Now, what I do for this, and this works perfect also if you have to do a lot of retouching with small areas. You go to your quick mask, and you go to your brush. And take a brush with a soft edge, and just paint over the areas that you don't like. So you're actually now selecting those areas. There you go. Let's add up like this, or this, this. Smoothen out this just a little bit. There we go. Okay. I'm cutting corners now a little bit to keep the video watch somehow shorter. Now invert the mask because you're actually not selecting the areas you want, you're selecting something else. So invert it and press delete and use content to wear. Now the fun part is. Photoshop will now do all the retouching for you. Is it perfect? No. You have to do it a little bit over by yourself. But just check it very quickly. And if there's something that you don't like, like in this area, you just retouch it very quickly yourself. There you go. This technique will save you a lot of time. Now this area is often a point of discussion. Should it go or should it stay? I think it should stay. It's part of our model. But maybe just soften it a little bit. Now what you can do is you can actually make a duplicate layer, clone it out 100%, there we go, and just press it back, pull it back on the opacity, so before and after. Yeah. Okay. So now let's go into Topaz Clean, because now I want my skin to be perfect. The first thing you have to do is make a duplicate layer because I want to work with a mask later on. Now we go into filters. We go to to pass and we go to clean tree. Now the first thing you have to realize is there are many ways again to do the retouching. I don't want the Barbie doll look. I just want something that's a little bit less 
uh, structurally than the original skin, a little bit more even. Now to pass is something really key, uh, cool for this, it's called skin even. So when I press this one, it will actually make the skin look a little bit more even. So there are no changes in color, there's some detail gone. Now it's up to you how much you want it. So if you go to the original and you go to the preview, it's already pretty good for what I want. Let's say you want a little bit less. So you can play with the threshold. And you can play with the texture. Let's say I want no texture at all. And now you can see one of the strong points of the topaz. This is the actually skin cleaning it does. It looks horrible, right? Now, as soon as you start adding texture, now it's getting interesting because now you actually get a feel of the original skin back. This is awesome when you shoot people that have a lot of different colors in their skin. So there we go. Now we have the preview, the original, next to each other. Okay, I like this. I don't want it to be too much. So press OK. And now it goes into processing. Now as mentioned before, I've tested a lot of different filters. And for the pricing, I think the Topaz Clean is without any doubt the filter to go for. And if you want even more control, you can still do that with your uh, layer masking like I'm going to do in a moment. So let's first do the processing. Okay, we're back in Photoshop and as you can see this is the retouched version and this is the original version. But you can also see that the filter actually also infected the background. You can see this? And that's bad, we don't want that. That's why we make a mask. Now, a lot of people will say, okay, select all the skin, uh, feather it a little bit, make it a little bit more like this or that. Well, that's way too much work. What I would like to do is just very simple. Do a layer mask and hide all. And now what you do is you take a brush with white paint, because remember, the hide all is black, and just paint over the areas that you want to be visible. So let's go to 100% and a little bit bigger brush. So the first thing I will do is just paint over the whole face. I don't take any notice for the eyes or the nose or whatever. I just paint everything and all the effect will be in. There we go. Don't forget the hands. And the arms, of course. Now again, I have to say, this is not a 100% professional retouch. I'm just showing you very quickly what we do with the filters. So normally we take a lot more time for this. Or a lot more, not, not a lot more actually, but a little bit more time. Okay, there we go. So now we have the before and after. And it's very subtle, as you can see. The only thing I want the eyes to be original. So we now change with the X key to black paint. And I'm actually painting my eyes back. Also the nose a little bit, the mouth. And the problem we have here, I don't really like the ear to be that soft, but I don't want it to be completely like the original. So now you can change the opacity of your brush to let's say 50% and just paint it over a little bit here. And you can do this on all the areas where you say, well, the smoothing is a little bit too much, but I don't want it completely gone. So you can actually change the level of which the smoothing is applied. There we go. I actually like this. So, and now I'll do a layer flat an image. This is how I use the skin retouching for clean from Topaz. Now you will see in the screen, you will see a discount code and you will see an affiliate code. Please use this link because then you can get a 15% discount from Topaz using the code. And in my opinion, there are many filters out there and a lot of the skin retouching filters are really good, but they charge you a lot of money. To pass clean is a very cheap solution. And again, totally honest, it's the filter I use now for most of my work. So it's an amazing filter for a very good price, but remember to make the layer mask and paint it in and play a little bit with the sliders. Every skin is different. So there's no setup that will work for every skin. But if you've done some, that's perfect. After that, you can automate it for that model and just run the filter over and over again in that setting. If you have a new model, 
do it all over again and then run it in automation. So thank you very much for looking and follow the link and get your discount for Topaz Clean.